Hello and welcome back to Craftimation 101. In our last episode, we continued our expansion into crazier and crazier programs by having them maintain these three trees in a little bit better of a way. And so we are uh, continuing to um, advance that. And we, at the very end of the last uh, episode, we tweaked the Maintain Fires program uh, to add a eating step in the middle, I think, and that has broken the bots uh, a little bit. So we need to um, we need to deal with that. Uh, if I can find one of the maintained fires folks, which might be this one. Yep. This eating step here is not good if they have already um, gotten a uh, fire, if they already have a fire in their hand. This does not work. We need to change this. So first of all, let's do this and take this out because that does not work. What we need to do is actually completely interrupt this for a, um, for, a for a for another cycle and then uh, bring them back to, to start again. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have them drop what's in their hand, which should be a, a fire, just like we do over here. And then we can uh, have them come back and then um, check and eat and then go back here to these steps, basically, at least a copy of these steps, basically, to grab that fire again, and if there's not one, then um, make one, and then continue with the rest of their um, rest of their things. So we need, to, we need to do that, but we need a different check and eat for that, because, well, if they don't need... Uh, yep, that's what I was afraid of. We also have frozen out. Uh, pause for a minute, please. Oh crap. Okay, we actually can't pause. We gotta have it unpaused in order to thaw. I thought so. We don't have enough bots doing the fires or me breaking the, the, the thing here has caused too many problems. So I'm glad I put it back the way that it was. Although we might have other problems. I'm gonna leave it alone like it is Oops, right now. Um, but we're gonna have to fix this soon. For now, though, I'm going to throw a few fires in here just to keep, get this one going, and hopefully they'll get caught up on it while we kind of wait to see what's um, what's going on. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Another thing that I've noticed um, is starting to happen, which happened the last time too, is when you start the game up, like load from a save, they tend to scramble through... Um, looks like a, a, maybe a minute or so of simulation. And that seemed to cause some bugs too, uh, in terms of their behavior. Uh, that might have been this same bug with the fires, but it also might not have been, so um, hoping that, that maybe they can get that resolved. Uh, but we also need to move a fire over here and add that one into the loop. So let's actually do that f second. Uh, wait, you're not... Yeah, you're not, you're not who I want. Uh, we want somebody who's maintaining fires. Bob the Goofy, are you maintaining? Yes. So let's add another fire onto this loop. Oops, not that, Wally. Don't click on the things. Let's add another fire onto this loop. So let's add some space here. We can add as much as we want. I'll add at least that much. And then we can add another compare count in here. And we can do not that yet, not that yet. Let's start with this side first. You go there, you go there. Uh, we want to maintain this fire here, although this is in its permanent home. Uh, we want to maintain it, so I'm just going to maintain it at like 10. It's not a permanent fire. And then uh, drop two, if, if less than, then drop two here. Same spot, and I guess I should have made this uh, variable base, but it wasn't before, so it's not now. That can go down to there. And then we can do, finally, um, this interruption and addition. That should be correct. Okay. Oh, what happened? There we go. So they still need to continue maintaining this, which they're not really doing yet. So we might need just another bot in there. We do have nine of the radio lamps, though, which I just noticed. So let's do this. And then I think it was this. And I'm going to add another bot into the check uh, fires here. Maintain fires, I mean. 
Because I think we need another one in the loop. This fire is not keeping up at all. These ones all are um, kept up, so it might just be that one. And then adding this fire into the loop means that we're going to have even more problems when the time comes. Although, thawing out this stone here will help them. So maybe I should just be okay with that idea. Four, five. Because they can get to the stone here, so I'm going to come all the way around over there. That might be enough. And this fire is going to go right there, which means that's the stone that I want them to focus on. Uh, which is a little bit uh, problematic because, well, it's 3,000 and there's this one here and there's that one there. So it's going to be a little bit of time before they're ready to clean that one up. But we can also make the uh, furnaces too and start living off of wood because we have 209 wood. So we could probably make some more furnaces. Uh, those need copper though. And so I think we need to get these done, which... I think we added to we added to all of this step, which is the big challenge here. Um, I did not let it run off camera. I just remembered that I had committed to doing that and didn't do it. We're not actually maintaining enough uh, fuel either, I don't think. don't think we are. Because this one hasn't had any added to it in a long time, and this one just barely has enough in it. So I think we might need another fuel bot soon. Uh, you two, though, are going to end up out of juice maybe no 18 i don't think so but it's something we can watch we might want to reduce the tree maintenance some or and or add the mushroom maintenance into them but the mushroom maintenance step is a little bit different if i remember correctly because you can't actually just uh the tree doesn't the mushroom doesn't just regrow like the tree does you have to actually make a new mushroom spore i believe okay so let's um we have nine of these, yeah. We're well, gonna make another one right now. Okay, let's start feeding these in. And I think I should make another bot and add it to that loop because we're gonna have a long time to wait otherwise. So I should, let's do that first, first. First, first, uh, not that. This one, that one, this one. And then uh, make the sand guy is who? I can find them. The sand glass uh, radio lamp guy. Here we are right here. Copy. Whoa, the slow. And so, yeah, you are sanding my gears. Yep, good. And well, maybe the issue could have been the issue that everybody else has. Um, where they didn't have enough, uh, the distance wasn't, wasn't good enough for the stone kind of thing. But we also need to have that kept in mind for the future. So, uh, let's see, you need, okay, you're catching up and this one's going to fall off again. Let's put some more fuel in there. Okay. Unfortunately, this is 20 radio lamps, which is a lot. Yeah, that's half of them. Oh, good. Look at all those bots that just came to one the one fire and said, Hey, I'm going to throw this in there. this stone here? Can't tell. Can't tell what any of this is. Maybe this is nothing. Frozen volcano. I don't know how that works, but okay. Uh, we could thaw that out sometime too. All this copper. We could start on the copper, but I kind of want to keep with the progress here. Um, my radio lamps are going. Hungry. 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 I think I'll throw another bot into that program as well. Making more radio lamps because as long as, long as we're, they're taking their time to make them, uh, we are um, 
just kind of stuck, I suppose. Let's see. Who is you? You is. Copy that to you. And then go. But yeah, having that access to that stone there is really good. There's a uh, rotor there. There's seeds, some of these. We could thaw some more of this out, I suppose. While we wait. Because we could use more of these made. So we can have them. Go ahead. Did I screw you up? I guess I did. Sorry. Throw that in there then. Uh, but until we actually need that rotor, I screwed him up by putting something in there. By the way, until we actually need that rotor. Let's just put it in a box. Uh, but I guess we could use it to make a uh, furnace because I think that was the furnace recipe, right? That didn't last long. Okay, good. Um, but then, do we want to switch any of these to furnaces, or do we want to keep it going? We probably have to add somebody into the furnace uh, loop at some point. Definitely be better slash cheaper if we did. Yeah, I still think we're losing fuel. Hmm. 53 and 8 is 61. Now I'll come back later and randomly check and see if it's any better or not. I think the answer is going to be probably no. If I did this again... Also, we need to get this going again. They haven't gotten here yet, still. Edible paint. Edible paint. Edible paint. A different color? It is. Edible paint. The game hasn't told us about those yet either, but the the objective here is that you have all these different colors and you can mix and match them to make new colors. And they also give a little bit of energy too when they eat them. Um, so we kind of have to figure out, so like the dark blue plus white makes this medium blue and then the medium blue plus white makes the light blue. But where do we get the dark blue from? Another pool here someplace. Uh, there's same medium blue. There's an orange again. Um, over here's white again. I don't know where the rest of the colors are. What if you mix those to form mix to form those? There's blacks. So that's probably yeah. Probably the other colors are the lighter ones plus black makes darker kind of concept. Makes sense if it were. So I'm going to guess that it is. Uh, let's see. We have nine more of these. So we're just about ready to go. Don't drop them on somebody so that they eat them, though. Be careful with that. There. There. And I just saw the last one get delivered. So we should be good. And I can then pull from that... Um, that, that group to find another worker... Um, or to reduce the number of workers so we're not making a ridiculous number of these. But I can leave them also, leave them go for a little while. Uh, so we gained a cargo mate. The cargo mate is a stronger bot, I think, um, who can do different things, but I don't remember what the things they can do that are different are. And then they have a cargo head, which is copper plus a regular head. And they probably have a cargo body, which is probably copper plus a regular body. Copper ore, that is. But I don't remember what the cargo mates do that's different. Um, oh, but we need... Um, we need 30 copper. Which was, what, smashing two coppers together, right? No. That uh, was fire plus copper. Okay. So we need some bots to do that. I just don't remember what these guys do that's different. They have different, they have different commands, I think. Uh, maybe? Ah, uh, here they are. Cargo mates commands are pick storage. So to pick up a storage, 
to put storage on a tile and to switch storage, but everybody picks up storage. Unless maybe, unless maybe what they can do is carry a storage around that's full, which would be very useful for me because I keep, you know, having that problem. Uh, you froze over again and you froze over with somebody inside. Great, and you're hungry. Even more great. Okay, there you go. Go get some more food. Let's put this here again. Let's do this, and you might be maintaining now. And you... Are you stuck now? You're stuck now. Alright, fine. Uh, wait. That was supposed to be cold. Cold. Fire. Um, the problem is, is this is just gonna thaw out again. Are gonna freeze again, so that probably wasn't the greatest plan without adding that into the loop. Okay, so cargo mate, uh, let's yeah, let's swipe one of the one of the light bulb guys. Um, I just saw you over here. Pause. Um, Bib the strong, come down here for a moment. We're gonna do clear your program, and then uh, we're gonna make you make. Where are we at here? Twenty seven. And two. Oh yeah, we're losing food like crazy here. Copy this. Go. I mean, it could be that I was just at the right spot in the cycle, but I don't think so. Yeah, let this freeze back over again. That'll be fine. I'd rather it be frozen over than uh, be incorrect. So, or be, let somebody get in there. So. Let's do that. I know you're there, and I don't really know what to do with you. I, I guess they could do regular jobs too, but... I don't know. Let's make some more of these guys, though, because we're going to need them. We also don't yet know how to make batteries. Uh, we can learn, but we don't yet know how to make batteries. Uh, let's see, another fuel bot here. You, copy. Oh no! I just reset your program. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, make coal bricks. Okay, copy to here. Copy to there. Go. Go. Oh, you found some stone over there and some coal over there. Isn't it nice? Yeah, this is this is actually a real problem. We, we just barely didn't get caught up in uh, this and that this and that all right let's see how that does and then we still need another one to get get us some uh, copper together although we might be able to knock it off with the radio lamps a little bit more yet. Uh, so let's see, you are this one. Pause you. Delete you. We're going to give you a brand new program. Uh, just make it make it local here. Uh, you're going to, let's see, you're going to um, make a fire. And then you're going to find and pick copper ore down there. And then um, you're going to slam those together. And then you can check and eat. And then you can go to idle. Uh, wait, I gotta actually give you some place to put it though, don't I? Uh, drop it for now. Go ahead. Drop it for now to here. Here, thank you. Um, another thing that I figured out between the episodes, new object copper, is the uh, the bot who is feeding the uh, the furnaces. Remember how it was zipping around real fast? That's right here. Uh, you can boost the speed of a bot by 50% by doubling their energy consumption, and you can reduce the speed of a bot by 25% by say and, and also save 45%. So if you have a bot that's doing something like this where they don't necessarily have to touch the whole circuit every time, which I don't know that that's the case for them or not. Uh, we could slow them down just a little uh, and 
then hopefully, maybe, um, get some um, get some energy savings out of it. Especially because we are having a little bit of suffering going on here. Uh, we also got two new um, uh, progression points here. And we only have one row of things to do yet. So directional, I don't really understand what these why I want to fiddle with these. You can tell them to pick up an object from the left or the right, but how do you know to tell them to go to that spot unless you would know what that spot is? So I don't really know what this gets me, but I'm going to take it anyway, because it gives me this smart finding pick, which unlocks a node that allows crafting weights to be instructed to search for items in storage on the ground or wherever, which that might be what we want. Uh, when we Instead of doing the pick from, um, step uh yeah there's the pick left pick right compare pick but where's the smart unless it's bugged out again um it could be let's just uh save real quick just save it as temp and go to the main menu and come right back in if you remember when we added a bunch of see they just did the zip around thing and I don't know if that actually causes bugs or not but we'll see let's go in here actually do you have no you just got the pick left drop left right so where's the smart pick Ooh, I have a grid? I didn't know that. I didn't notice that before. Um, where's the smart pick? Unless it's just... No, it's not. Um, somebody at random here. Am I just being blind or... daft? Just pick from. Hmm. I don't know what the smart pick where that is. Unlocks a node that allows craft mates to be instructed to search for items in storage on the ground or wherever. Unlocks a node. Is a node the same as a command? Comparing your position nodes for variables, yeah. So node is a command, but I don't see search for items in a storage on the ground or wherever. I don't see that here. Just to compare it to idle drop to storage. Is empty. Okay, I'm either blind or this isn't here okay I don't know where that is so let's move on find something else to do Right, you are making copper, but we're going to have to add this bonfire in at some point, or a furnace in. Are you doing a pretty good job of maintaining these? Can I add another one to your loop? Possibly. Because we do have... We do have this, and I can make another fire. Uh, how do we make the fires again? Well, I can't remember these things. Um, brick plus coal, and a brick is a stone plus a, plus a dirt. And then, yeah, okay. Dirt plus stone plus coal plus that. Mix one of those. So we could put this up here someplace. Maybe there. And get rid of this one then. And then we can add into your loop one more fire. Yep, maintain furnaces. 
Zoomy, 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 zoomy. Uh, let's push this way over. There. And then we can add a compare count in here. And you're going to go to that one. Although maybe I should put it before this one, since the way that the route they're taking is. Yeah, I'll put it in there. That's fine, though. We can move it over. Uh, five. Let's move all of this over here. And then this one will go in there. Uh, if it's greater than or equal, it'll go into this. We need a variable here for this one. Uh, then I should have just done that, of course. And then we need a drop to same bat place, if less than. And then these can be pulled into here instead. I think that's correct. Uh, this has to go to there. And I, now I think that's correct. And that way they kind of work in that loop rather than um, rather than going past it to go and then go back again. Because we do have a ridiculous amount of wood here. I'm going to throw a couple in here just so we can have that. Ooh, a moss spore. Uh, so that needs water as well. Um... I want to see how these work, probably, but I also want to just keep going with what we have going here. Um, how's the fuel going? 20 plus 15. We might be increasing again. That would be good if we are. Because I think we were down in the 20s um, earlier when I added the other two bots. So um, it's really good if we are. <laughs> There's a whole row of them right there, all on top of each other. It's like buses. Uh, we have spores aplenty. We have mushrooms aplenty. Um, we have moss here too. Yeah, let's play with these, I guess, while we're kind of waiting. Uh, we'll just play with one of each. Just kind of see the cycle, because I believe at least one of these, if not both of them, are different from the uh, trees cycle. So we'll, we'll play with those and see how those go. Um, I don't think I need this furnace. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Can I get that to burn out before you come back, though? No. So I'm going to have to bypass that step in your program. Uh, which is this one? Yeah. I'm going to have to bypass that step. So after you do this, then go straight to there. Bypassed. Just fuel these up. That's fine. Maybe a one over there. I want to see what happens when this dies out. Yeah, we don't even need this fire here. All right, that's good. That saves a bit of fuel. It saves a bit of a step. And the reason that we don't need it is because the uh, sulfur spring puts out its own heat. And so does the brewery, actually, I think. Um, but so I may want to push these out a little bit further. But this stuff here that's in the permafrost, it's it actually needs to be uh, kept hot. Um, at least it did in the previous version. OK, so you need a little bit more water here. Oops, I missed. Uh, no, you're done, actually. You're done with one water. Okay, then we can pull these out. Collect a piece of moss that you've been turned. And then that comes back to this. So this can be part of the same cycle as the trees in that case. Uh, but you grow one, two. Now you say you're withering. Oh, you're done? And now I collected a mushroom achievement earned. Okay, and then when you're done, no, you have the same cycle as well. You just need water until you're happy, and then you're good. Okay, so they change that, which means that I don't really know what the point of making more spores is. Unless they're used for something else, of course. Uh, but the mushrooms are used for that ale, right? Yeah. And, uh, uh, oh, the moss is used for wakey ale. Uh, eco mode for 60 seconds. Well, that would be useful. So especially since we keep coming through um, all of this. 
Primordial Ale gives us 100 energy. Oh, interesting. That's a good use of wood. Interesting. But I don't really know what I want to do with those. Um, so we, the next thing we should do is, is maybe create a bot that just goes around and um, and checks the other bots, or possibly, well, actually, let's let's check that uh, primordial stuff. No, that's not what I wanted. Wait, oh, it's in the brewery. Duh. Well, this is this is good. I've got too many of these now. Too many seeds. I wonder what we can use for the seeds. Uh, you go there. You go there. Primordial ale. And then let's find somebody who's low on energy. You're pretty low energy. Yeah. Wow. That gives a hundred energy. That's better than the batteries. I think the batteries... Well, what do the batteries give? They give a hundred energy as well. But the batteries are expensive. Uh, it takes all the stuff up to a charged plate, which is... Um, a magnet and a regular plate and a magnet is iron and steel and steel is iron and fire and the steel plate is two steel so we're at like uh, one two three steel plus an iron which means like three fires and four irons Plus a water, so that's four fires, four irons, and an ice to make one battery. Whereas the the um, primordial ale is wood, which we can maintain pretty easily, it looks like, and keep maintaining, and just water, which is ice and fire. That seems better to me for some reason. I could be insane, but that seems better to me. That could be crazy. Uh, let's put this up here and put that in there. Are we still, I think we're still increasing. Uh, this is where I could use Superbot over here, but I, he can't get in there. He can't get in there. Um, we'd have to give him some freedom here. Wait, what happened to Copperbot? You still coppering? Eh, we're up to 18, so you must be. Oh, we got another super bot over here. Ooh, ooh the nervous. All right, we're gonna use this super bot then to move this storage if it will work. Uh, I want you to pick up storage at this spot here, and I want you to drop the storage to this spot here. And I don't want you to go back to idle. I want you to work one time. Oh, man, they're slow. But they can move storages around. <laughs> it's like, I am robot. Okay, and then I want to move that around a little bit. And then I want you to do the same kind of thing, but I want you to pick up this one and move it to there. And then finally, I want you to pick up this one and move it to there. Oh. So those are good for very close. What's the 17 mean? Oh, how much stuff you were carrying. Interesting. Okay. Uh, those are good for very close or very intermittent jobs. But I really don't know what I would use it for long term. Because I. Unless they're really, really, really fuel efficient comparatively, I don't know why I would want them. Let's throw these in here for now. Oh, that's not. We can't throw that in there. Because that's a moss spore, which is. Um, moss plus wood. Okay. And that's just the. 
moss. Sort of like how the mushrooms work. Hmm. Um, that program, by the way, can be edited now to remove that step I skipped. Yeah, delete that. Delete that. And delete that. Don't need it anymore. Goodbye. Here's some more of that paint uh, there. There's a green we didn't have before. I think we had this gold color right there. Yeah. And we had that that blue right there. So if we combined... That does darken. Okay, good. Can you mix colors like we used to be able to do? I'm assuming. But I could be wrong. Apparently you can just mix lights and darks now. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we could make this darker color here. Um, and then we can make a lighter color here. And I think we need a lighter green too. There it is. And is there a lighter blue? No, there was a darker blue. Um, that should be okay though. Okay, go over there. And then let's go with darker blue. Excuse me, thank you. There we are. Is that all of them now? It is, the whole row, look at that. Okay, so that's interesting, it's an interesting change that there's basically three base colors, um, like yellow, orange, blue, and green, and then you just lighten them and darken them, tint them basically. Ooh, a tank. What are tanks are for? Where are we at with copper? 25. Okay, am I done playing around that I could maybe add another copper bot in? Maybe. Uh, I should have dealt with those two while I was there. Oops, uh, let's grab one of those. And where are you at? Yeah, we're definitely gaining uh, fuel. Uh, these, oh, uh, super bot. Where are you at, super bot? Come down here, give me, give me super bot here. Let's move these out of the way too. I'm gonna put maybe fuels over there. Let's give you another job. Pick the storage up. Drop the storage. Drop storage. Thank you. Pick this storage up. And then drop it over here. And go. Super bot. Okay. And this is where I'll make and store potions if I decide I want to do that. Um, this is earth, which we'll eventually need um, because this eventually is going to run out. It's going to take a long, long time, but it'll eventually run out. Oh, and you are now bored because we have too much sand and too much glass and too many radio lamps. So you, I can pause for a while because we're not really using the radio lamps, unless we, of course, jump into making another, um, uh, making more bots or something. And maybe we should add to the metal loop making batteries, but then again, we don't really need them yet. Oh, one thing I wanted to check we had before, I don't know if we still have or not, is uh, water plus fire it's no longer steam. Okay, there is no such thing as steam anymore. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, how close are we? Three more. Should I just wallbot them? Maybe I should. Or at least two of them. There we go. And then... Uh, we get a steam battery, which is water plus tank. Okay. 
So these steam batteries also have a ridiculous amount of energy, I believe. What is that? Steam bond? Oh no, they're the... That's what those are for. Right. We need to find copper bot, by the way, and free it from its... They, these are huge fires, but they require the tanks, which are copper plus metal plates, and um, uh, and, and water. Uh, was that you, copper bot? No. I lost him. I saw it drop, and then I glanced away, and then I lost it. Uh, let's see. Steam battery is there. What is that? We don't know about yet. Interesting. There's a hundred as well, but that's a hundred. Those are most useful in these steam bonfires. So we could take a look at that. Like for example, if I wanted to really, really, really do this, those run forever. Uh, well, a pretty long time. Maybe not ever. But they're also super hot, which is what we want eventually. Because we, I'm assuming the game's going to lead us to a point where we want to actually have flowers growing and things like that so that could be where we want to go with this uh, i'm just not sure ah there you are i knew you'd be here somewhere let's um drop that for now uh, i'm gonna put you down or maybe over here for now would you throw that other copper did somebody eat it we probably ate it throw that in there for right now oh there it is i see it but good luck getting in there okay i got it in there um, so we could have you keep making copper and instead maybe just drop it to this spot. Yeah, let's just do that. That way we can just keep copper coming in. And then maybe that's the one that makes, um, tanks then as well or something if we wanted to do that. Ooh, we need to make wire though. Okay, let's do that real quick. Uh, two of these makes wire. There we are. And then two wires, which we don't have the copper for yet, uh, will make can't do that. I gotta do it with fire. Right. Fire, Wally. Fire. Here. And we'll steal one of these, because there's still a ridiculous number there. Two two wires. And then we make a rotor out of the wire, I think, or magnet and wire, of course. There we go. And then circuit boards. Okay, so I think what we should do here is um, leave this at this point, and we'll continue into making, well, chips, I guess, on circuit boards, which are there, and that's the last item on the screen, but maybe there's uh, some use for these beyond this. Um, if not, then the next episode, I think we'll, maybe we'll try to try to switch fuel over to be the, um, the primordial brew, and then we can also, you know, maybe thaw some more of this out, or, or something else, and, uh, just make a little bit more progress if there's nothing else to learn. If there is new stuff to learn, then we can learn that. And uh, we should play with these steam batteries some more, too. So I think we'll leave this here, and we'll deal with that stuff in the next one. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all then. Bye for now.